Hey, what's going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome to kind of a random pack opening here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. I'm doing this because I didn't realize that yesterday, which was Wednesday, I accidentally uploaded my video that I had set to upload today on Thursday. I didn't even realize it till like right now and it's like 12 o'clock at night. I'm supposed to be studying for a Spanish test tomorrow, but who cares about Spanish tests, right? I didn't want to not have a Madden video ready to upload today, so I decided to come on here and do a random 50k pack opening. And I really haven't done any random pack openings so far, so I guess it's now time for the first one. But like I said, 50k worth of packs is going to be opened up in this video. And go watch my last Madden video that was supposed to be uploaded today if you haven't already. It's a video that I put together to show you my tips and tricks and how I completed the chemistry style challenges without losing any coins. But without further ado, let's get into these packs. Pack number one. We're at about 492,000 right now, so we're going to pull it down to about 540,000. First pack, we get a Joseph Ranzel. 49ers away uniformer, still looking for my second elite pool. Packers defense, Jonas Mouton. Jason Garrett, Leron Bird, Viking Stadium, Caleb Schlatteroff. Gold card is Brandon Albert. Okay, a pretty good left tackle. I will take it. I'll take any 80-plus players. I don't want to get any players lower than 80, though, and the last card in this pack is a Danny Cole. It's always good every once in a while to open up some packs because you need some of those players for all the sets. You also need those stadiums and playbooks, so it's always nice to open up some packs and get some of those cards. Let's see here, Rob Jackson, gold card is Steve Smith. Okay, first time I pulled him this year. One of the best wide receivers I have right now. Let's check out his stats real quick. Speed is kind of low, but he has some pretty solid catching stats all around, so I will definitely take that one. He might go ahead and start for my team. We'll have to see. A Lawrence Sidbury, Joe Philbin, Avery Jones, Steelers away uniform, Lions Stadium, and ending it off with a Sean Prater. Let's see what we get in this pack. Is it going to be my second elite? Kind of crazy, it's almost been two months of Madden being out and I haven't got a second elite. Starting off with a Raiders Stadium, Steelers home uniform, where's the gold card? We got a Ryan Tannehill, okay. Last time I got him, I think he went for like 5k, I doubt he goes for that much now, but I will take it. If he goes into an elite set, I'll go ahead and send him to that, because, I mean, eventually if you want to complete the Mutt Master set, you're going to have to complete all these sets, get all these players, so why not go ahead and throw them into the set if they don't start for your team? If you get a duplicate, then you can go ahead and sell that one. Rex Ryan, Dolphins Offense, Stacey McGee, Weston Richburg. Will he go into an elite set? No, he goes into a silver set. Not bad. Like I've said plenty of times, I don't send players to gold sets, but I do send players to the silver and bronze sets. Josh Klein and a Robert Malone. I'm feeling my second elite in this pack. I just know it. I just know it's going to happen. Where is it? Ads, Ram Stadium. Where are you at? Where are you at, Elite? Ah, it's a gold. Okay, Matthew Stafford. First time I pulled him this season. Another quarterback. Not too shabby. He won't start over Colin Kaepernick. So, like I said, go ahead and send him to that Elite set. It's going to have to happen eventually. Nate Chandler, Kayvon Webster, and a Lamar Mady. About three packs left to go for this one. And I'm telling you, these last three packs, I am going to get an Elite. I know it. Where are you at, Britton Colquitt? Dominique Franks, John Fox. Where are you at? Gold card is Jason Pierre-Paul. Okay, he's a duplicate, so I don't know what I'll do. Yep, I'll go ahead and sell him on the auction. I'm not sure what he goes for, but I guess it's a pretty penny. Like I said, I guess I already sent him to the Elite set. So after you do that and then you start pulling duplicates, then you can sell him on the auction. That's what I do at least. Not a bad card. I've actually got some pretty decent pulls so far. Nothing spectacular, but it's not really been bad luck. So I'm happy with what I've gotten so far. John Skelton ending it off with the LJ Fort. Two packs left to go, and are we going to be able to clutch it up with a great pull? And it is not going to be this pack. Get a Duran Harmon as our first player. Any other goodies in this one? I guess it's not going to be the case. I pulled Chase Ford so many times. Ryan Griffin, is he going to go into an elite set? Yes, he does. That's what I said. Never, ever look over these high rated silvers because most of the time they go into elite sets, which are so, so important. Let's hear John Harbaugh, Sam Barrington, and ending it off with a Nick Toon. Here we go, guys. Last pack for this random pack opening on Mad 15. Let's see. Are we going to be able to clutch it up with an Elite? That would be great. I mean, throughout Mad 15, I've had some pretty decent luck. But let's see if he goes into Elite set. He might actually. I'm not real sure. I already add him to whatever set he's a part of. But I've had some pretty decent luck all around but I haven't got any crazy crazy pulls I've got solid pulls all year round but nothing too spectacular Here we go Martin Wallace Raven Stadium 
Oh my gosh, it's gonna be one of the last two cards, and okay, last card. Is it gonna be a gold or an elite? I'm feeling a red card is gonna pop up, and no, it's a gold, of course, and a Deshaun Golson. Okay, not too shabby. It could have been worse. Not an elite, but I guess I will take it. Go ahead and send him to the elite buck set because you know I have Charles Woodson and Ed Reed at free safety right now. So, you know, it wasn't really a bad pack opening. Nothing too crazy, but not really bad luck, so I'll take it. Well, that'll do it for this pack opening, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of these random type pack openings, let me know by shattering that like button. You know, if you want to see these 50,000 to 100,000 coins worth of packs pulled in an episode, let me know. Want to go check Jason Pierre Paul's price on the auction. It looks like it's going for a pretty penny, so I will take that pull definitely. But I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.